Good morning, I'm Terry and welcome to Tardis Spider. Today, 1970s companion introduction stories. There are six new companions in the 1970s. Liz Shaw, Joe Grant, Sarah Jane Smith, Harry Sullivan, Leela, and Romana. Of course, there are two Romanas, Mary Tam and Lala Ward. So with seven introduction stories, there are Spearhead from Space, Terror of the Autons, The Time Warrior, The Robot, The Reboss Operation, and Destiny of the Daleks. So let's look at the stories and then rank our six best companion introductions. Carolyn John is Liz Shaw in A Spearhead from Space. A newly regenerated doctor will stumble out of the TARDIS in need of medical assistance. Meteorites fall to Earth in a spearhead pattern. And all the while, Liz Shaw has been taken to meet the Brigadier to be recruited into joining unit and to protect this planet. As the Auton threat grows, Liz Shaw will be an aide to the doctor in his plan to protect the world. Liz shows that she can work on a similar level with the doctor and in her short time on Doctor Who, she will be an assistant, not quite a traveling companion, because sadly, she will never travel in the TARDIS. Caddy Manning is Joe Grant in The Terror of the Autons. The Master arrives. Joe Grant uses family connections to get a job with Unit. The Brigadier will pass her off onto the Doctor, something that he will not regret in the future, and she causes an accident right away. In an effort to make amends, she is discovered by the Master, who will hypnotize her and use her in an attempt to kill the Doctor. Fortunately, this plot is foiled. Later, Mike Yates lets Joe know that she is blameless and that the best she can do is follow orders. The strong connection between Joe and the Doctor begins from this moment on. Joe will grow into the third Doctor's most loyal, fearless, and caring companion. One who, when she leaves, will deeply sadden this Doctor. Elizabeth Slayton is the journalist Sarah Jane Smith in The Time Warrior. In medieval England, ruthless Irongron will witness a fireball falling to the earth. In the 20th century, scientists are beginning to disappear. The doctor and unit are here to investigate, and so is journalist Sarah Jane Smith under an assumed identity. Of course, the doctor will discover her secret. But during the next abduction, she stows away on the TARDIS, hitching a ride to the past. Right away, her spirit, curiosity, and bravery will be brought to the forefront. By the end of this story, she is a fully accepted companion. Ian Barter is Dr. Harry Sullivan in the story, Robot. After Dr. Number 3 regenerates into Number 4, with Sarah Jane and the Brigadier watching, the Brigadier will assign Dr. Harry Sullivan to be on hand to provide a medical assistance as needed. Meanwhile, someone or something is stealing the pieces for a disintegrator gun. The doctor will outsmart Harry and is getting ready to leave when he is asked to help. There are several amusing costume changes before the doctor starts to investigate. Harry will get his chance to get involved when he volunteers to go undercover. The robot gets a chance to start World War III and grows to gigantic size. Harry will drive Bessie to aid the Doctor in, in ending this threat, only to follow Sarah Jane and the Doctor into the TARDIS to leave at the end of this story. Louise Jameson is Leela in The Face of Evil. After the events of the deadly assassin, the Doctor is traveling alone. The TARDIS lands in an alien jungle. Now our first impression of Leela is of a strong, stubborn resistor of the status quo. Her father, in an attempt to save her, dies by the ordeal of the Horda, and Leela is banished. She will encounter the evil one while in the jungle, our Doctor. Quickly accepting that he is not an evil god, she joins the doctor and shows him his face carved into the side of a mountain. 
telling the doctor the story of her people and that of the Tesh. This story is basically in two parts. The Sevatim and the Tesh. Leela will prove herself to be brave and loyal to the doctor. And she can and will kill to protect him. Mary Tam is Romana in the Reboss operation. After the invasion of time, the doctor is again traveling alone. When the TARDIS is pulled out of space and time, upon leaving the TARDIS, the doctor will have his first encounter with the Guardian, the White. He is coerced into a mission for him and given a warning to beware the Black Guardian and is told that he will have help. Upon entering the TARDIS, we meet a majestic-looking Romana. In a fun bit of give and take, the doctor will call her Romana, not George. Romana lets us know that she is not sure that the doctor lives up to his reputation. Our first stop in this season is Reboss, a story with some amusing bits, and the doctor and Romana recover the first segment to the key of time, and the growth of Romana begins. This season-long story arc is the beginning of Romana's growth into a Time Lord of near equal status to that of the Doctor. Lala Ward is Romana in Destiny of the Daleks. First, Douglas Adams will take over as script editor, and his sense of humor is evident immediately. Second, Romana regenerates, and this is a unique regeneration, as we never see Mary Tam, while Romana too starts out with Lala Ward, but she tries out several bodies, including a blue one, before returning to Lala Ward. The story will introduce us to the Movellans, who are in a perpetual war with the Daleks, only to be locked in a deadlock. Both sides are searching for Davros, hoping he will give them the key to victory. Now, Romana is already a well-defined companion, and Lala Ward carries that forward with a new twist. So how do we rank these stories? Well, at number seven would be Robot, Harry Sullivan. Sarah Jane's important, but the focus of this story is regeneration. So Harry doesn't even have to be there to advance the story. Number seven. At number six, we have Spearhead from Space. Same reason, the story is about regeneration. Liz Shaw, while she's an assistant, she never truly is a companion as she never travels in the TARDIS. The next story would be, at five, The Destiny of the Daleks. Now, Lala Ward doesn't have to define who Romana is. We already know who the character is. All she does is tweak it a bit. At four, it's the Reboss operation. When the doctor finds out he has a new companion, he wants to go with George, but we end up with Romana. Now, Romana's a good character, and this is the start of her growth into being a Time Lord nearly as powerful as the Doctor. At three, we have the face of evil. Now, Leela is strong, loyal, can kill, and will kill to protect the Doctor. At number two would be the terror of the Autons. Now, Jo Grant gives a great performance, and you can feel her care for the Doctor and how this is going to grow. But of course, again, this story is about the Master. And the number one companion introduction story from the 1970s is The Time Warrior. Sarah Jane Smith, always a fan favorite, lets us know why in her very first story. She is resourceful, plucky, fearless, and willing to help the doctor no matter what. So Sarah Jane's story is the best companion introduction of the 1970s. And for our recommendation this week, let's go back to BritBox for the movie, Red Dwarf, The Promised Land. After 12 seasons, they now have their first movie. It's pretty good, it is well worth your watch, and I don't think it's the end of the series. At least, I hope not. So, enjoy your journey through time and space. Stay well, take time to social distance, wear a mask, wash your hands, and remember, to love all those in your life. Good night.